What does all of this mean? Ask Ryan. Ask Ryan. Ask Ryan. Ask Ryan. Why, hello there. You asked, and well, I'm here to answer. This is Ask Ryan, episode two. Welcome. Let's look at your questions. So y'all sent me in some good ones this time since the last one. Right after the last one, I got some more questions. As long as you keep sending in questions, I will keep doing these. So, that number is 772-783-2309 if you want to text in your questions. And, um, maybe there'll be a third. (laughs) Who am I kidding? There'll definitely be a third. Alright, so let's go through your list of questions. Um, again, got a few funky ones. We, uh, try not to go with the you know, weird, funky types of questions. Um, so these are, you know, this is like the bulk of the the good questions that I received. So <laughs> let us get started. The first one is, what is your favorite show? Um, well, I'll start right off the bat by saying that I really don't watch a lot of TV or like a lot of anything. <laughs> I uh, get up in the morning and I clean, sometimes record a video. Uh, Then I go to work, and I come home, and I cook dinner, and uh, maybe clean some more, and sometimes record stuff, maybe watch a little TV or something, and um, I just answered a totally separate question that wasn't even a question. That's my day. (laughs) Very exciting. Um, So my favorite show, um, I've always liked Star Trek a lot. That's one of my favorites. Um. Not really a specific one, I suppose. Um, what can I say? I'm not picky. I've liked them all to a degree so far. And there's a lot of new ones that I need to catch up on. So that's cool. <laughs> when I was younger, I used to like a show on PBS called Fetch with Rough Ruffman. Very exciting. Animation, live action, crossover, game show action happening. Lots of cool science and stuff involved for my young developing adolescent brain. It was... It was a good time. I think, uh, I hope that I carry some of the wonderful qualities of Rough Ruffman into my hosting as well. I, uh, don't like Mushu as much, I guess. Actually, I don't think I've ever tried it, but, um, anyway. Yes, so there you go. Some favorite shows. Um, why did you decide to start your show? Well... That's hard to answer. I don't really know. Um, Honestly, just watching things like the news and stuff like that growing up, I looked at these people on TV and I was like, I want to do that. So I did that. (laughs) Um, Yeah, I kind of started kind of in a, you know, young kid pretend sort of thing. And uh, I would make my grandma put on these news shows with me, which was a good time. And she had this big bulky flashlight um, that I used to pretend to be, uh, it was a camera, because one of my other inspirations, iCarly, one of my favorite shows growing up, you know, the guy, he had that big camera, like he put it over his shoulder and everything. So I was like, this is kind of a close comparison. So that was my young filmmaking. And I actually had a separate YouTube channel when I was a kid. Um, because I would have continued it, but I forgot the login and I can't reset my password because it's so old. (laughs) And, but if you want to look it up, it's still there. Sunshine Studios 100. And, uh, that's young me. (laughs) There's some interesting stuff on there. Um, so yeah, I mean, and iCarly's coming back, so I'm pretty excited about that. That was honestly a big inspiration because... I was like, this girl, she's online on her own website. I mean, it was a TV show, but (laughs) she's online on this website doing her own show. And she's just doing like, what the hell ever? (laughs) Why can't I do that? And so I did. (laughs) And here I am. So our next question, this was a real heavy hitter. Is a hot dog a sandwich? I can't remember who sent me this, but you probably (laughs) said it with the intention of like, spiraling this video out of control into like a deep societal collapse because this is such a controversial question (laughs) so i guess first of all we should look at 
kind of the fundamentals of what exactly makes a sandwich. So you typically got your two pieces of bread, you got some condiments on there, some toppings, and then typically your meat or something as your like main part of your sandwich <laughs> all put together. So then if we look at a hot dog, it's on a bun, which is not really two separate pieces of bread. And you do have condiments and you do have your meat, the, you know, hot dog. But then again, are you asking about the actual hot dog itself? And then once you put it in a bun with everything on it, is it still called just a hot dog or does it get another name? Because everyone I know is still just called it a hot dog, but really there's more to it than that. But it's... <laughs> I'm just rambling at this point, but it's not even two separate pieces of bread, so can you call that a sandwich? But then would you call a sub a sandwich? This just goes on and on and on. And you know, subs I've seen either not the the bread not cut through all the way, or the bread is in two separate halves. I've kind of seen them both ways. So where do you draw the line, really? I don't know. For all intents and purposes, I would say because you call it a hot dog by itself, and then once you put it in the bun and add condiments, it's still just called a hot dog, I think I would have to say no, that it's not a sandwich. Um, that's a pretty hot take, I think. This is a very controversial question. Politicians argue over it for decades. But um, I guess I'm just going to leave it at that. If you disagree... Let me know in the comments. Maybe this will deserve its whole own video. We'll bring in the whole, like, discussion group, get a whole panel going. That would be interesting. Mental note. Maybe I'll do that. Next question. <laughs> now, unfortunately, Johnny is not here to join me. <laughs> but this next question is, is it true you and Johnny had a scout leader who not only is handsome, but, in <laughs> but extremely intelligent? So, I would have to say yes. Um, <laughs> this question was sent in by Johnny's mother. Uh, both of his parents were very uh, involved in scouting, so I couldn't imagine <laughs> which leader she would possibly be referring to, but <laughs> yes. Yes. Very handsome and extremely intelligent. Indeed. Quite the nice New York Italian gent. Um... <laughs> That question was a two-parter, and the second part is, what was your favorite part of Scouts? I really wish Johnny was here to help me tell some stories. Another video idea. I need to be writing this down. Um, it would be fun if I got some old Scout friends that we're still in touch with and we told some of our stories, because I've seen similar videos out there with other Scout experiences. Um, so maybe I'll have to get some other people together to discuss, but me... Um, it really helps when you have the right group of people, and we were lucky enough to have a group of friends that were really close knit and that really made the experience. Um, my favorite part, I don't know. Um, but I have one memory. One of my favorite trips was going down to the Keys, and we went to Key West. And I remember we were going to the lighthouse in Key West, and we couldn't i think we were circling around we couldn't find the parking lot so we were driving along the street and we see a guy on the side of the road so the leader driving our van stops rolls down the window and asks the guy hey do you know where we can uh, park for the lighthouse and he's like oh yeah okay now this man <laughs> tall man standing on the sidewalk he's like holding a broom and like I think he was sweeping the sidewalk or something. This was a while ago. Um, so he says, yeah, you can park anywhere along this street. And if anyone gives you a problem, you just tell them that Big Mac said you can park there. And for whatever reason, just me being me, I was very intrigued by this because it's this random man on the sidewalk. So who is Big Mac? Does he have authority in this area of town? Is he respected? Is he like a local legend? I've got a million questions going in my mind. Of course, I can't stop and ask him. We pull away, we go to park. And then we found the actual parking lot, which made it even weirder. And I asked the lady in the lighthouse uh, office. And I was like, do you know who Big Mac is? 
And she's like, no. <laughs> so that sounded probably really lame, but I have no idea who this Big Mac, like, mystery guy was. So if you ever see this Big Mac from the Keys, I remember you. Reach out. I would like to know your story. <laughs> um, and that was also the trip we were... <laughs> I don't know if I should say this, but we were <laughs> making jokes. Somebody had apples and um, it had like, you know, that little protective film or whatever they put on it to make them shiny, I guess. And we were peeling it off and somebody, I don't know who said it, but we were making a joke that it was like some sort of drug. We called it apple crack. <laughs> and that was, uh, we had a real <laughs> great sense of humor. We were real mature and we were making jokes that, uh, Kokomo, like the Beach Boys song, was like a code name for some sort of drug or something, because, you know, us very, <laughs> very, uh, street cultured youth <laughs> making our well informed drug jokes. <laughs> so that was, uh, that was a good time. That was a good trip. Um, so I hope that answers the question fairly decently. I'm gonna make note of that. I'm going to have a video for is a hot dog a sandwich debate and uh, scout stories. So moving on to the next question. Would you rather be only able to crawl on all fours or be only able to walk backwards? Do I get to try first? <laughs> uh, that's an interesting question. So let's like weigh some pros and cons here. Um... If you're walking on all fours, you can't really trip, so there's a less chance of injury, I suppose. Um, but you're putting your hands all over the ground, so that's really germy. If you're walking backwards, you can't really easily see where you're going, and knowing me, I would get very disoriented and definitely run into things. Um, but it's not as germy, you're still walking on your feet. But I would probably be much more prone to injury. Either way, I'm going to get really weird looks, so I think I'm going to have to go with crawling on all fours. <laughs> well, yeah, I'll just have to wash my hands more often. Definitely crawling on all fours so I don't get hurt. <laughs> and the next question. Would you be open to song requests for your covers? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I uh, can't guarantee that I'll be able to do it. <laughs> so for those of you that don't know my background, I'm definitely a singer to begin with. Um, and then I kind of tried to kind of sort of play some other instruments because I don't have a band or anything that I can use as, you know, music for my lovely voice. So, yeah, I mean, I would definitely be open to taking requests and I could try and see what I can do. I have a few lined up uh, songs already that I want to make more covers. I, uh have not gotten around to it as i have not gotten around to many other things i promise you i'm trying to ramp up video production i think i've been doing fairly okay i'm at least doing better than i used to it took me two years to make an episode two of my epic amazing show so i think i've really uh i think i've really been doing better lately so yeah if you want to go ahead and send me some requests i will try my best so that's the story there and if you haven't checked out my cover of frustrated by the knack i was pretty proud of that <laughs> if you want to check that out i would really appreciate it okay and our next question <laughs> what jobs have you worked um so i well i won't say where i currently work but i used to work for uh my high school actually when i was in high school i had a job as a theater tech with johnny too actually um and the title says theater tech so you think you'd be just working in the theater. And my dad used to do this also when he was in high school. And it was just in the theater. However, the theater tech program was run by the athletic director. <laughs> so d don't ask. I don't know. So not only was it things in the theater, like working the soundboard, working the lighting. Um, you know, there was a bunch of other stuff too. Um, it was also sporting events. <laughs> so, as a theater tech, you would go from the theater to also doing things like football games from... Uh, not just football games, all the sports games. 
like soccer, softball, baseball, everything. Um, manning scoreboards, manning gates, uh, kind of being like a security person. And you can see now that I'm definitely not security person material. In high school, I was even less so. So um, <laughs> that was definitely a good time. Um, but it was a lot of fun. It was definitely the best job I ever had, looking back. Um, it had its moments. Definitely had its moments. Um, and then after that, I worked at McDonald's. You know, they say that's everyone's first job. It was my second job. And um, <laughs> I don't know what I can say about that. Um <laughs> Definitely uh, treat fast food employees well. Please treat them well. I know it's frustrating sometimes from the customer standpoint, definitely, but treat them well. <laughs> um, but I met my girlfriend there, so that was good. Good things came out of it, too. Lots of good friendships, too. But uh, very stressful for individuals like myself. And now... Um, I won't say where I currently work, but I basically do shipping and receiving. Good time sitting in the back all day and uh, <laughs> boxing things, sending them out the door, receiving things, and then sending them back out the door. It's a great time sitting in the back alone with your thoughts. It's great. <laughs> um, that was the last question. That was a really great place to end. <laughs> um, yeah, well, what else can I say? Um, yeah, if you have any other questions, you can definitely feel free to send them. Uh, 772-783-2309 is that Ryan Rafel's entertainment phone number. And send them in whenever. I always try and put things out when I'm thinking about doing another one soon. Um, but send them anytime and I will set them aside for the next episode. Those beginning questions were literally sent in to me right after the last one aired, so... Yeah, <laughs> thank you. I appreciate your questions. Thank you so very much. Um, so yeah, with that, I'm Ryan Rafels, and I will see you soon for more <laughs> things. As always, I've got stuff in the works. All right, so I'll see you next time. Thank you. Have a good night. Wait, one more thing I forgot. Um... These new Ryan Rafels Entertainment pens, you can't see them very well, and I'm very far away, but there's a better picture of them on RyanRafels.com. And I'm thinking about maybe selling some of them, but mainly if you live around the Sebastian area, I'm going to be dispersing them around our nice, quaint little town. So look out for those. And the next thing, I posted a pretty cool TikTok video, I guess. <laughs> Am I hip yet? Please don't ever let me do that again. But if you're into that... TikTok stuff, you know? <laughs> God, why? Um, you can go on there and check us out, Ryan Rafel's Entertainment. I'm actually pretty proud of the video. It was pretty funny. And for you less TikTok-y types, I also posted it on Facebook as well. So that's it. I'll stop taking up your time. Have a good day. Subscribe, maybe like if you want. I love you. Bye.